As kids, we all had our favorite holiday movies, some being Elf, others Home Alone, but it seems like the majority of people have one favorite, The Polar Express. Today, we're going to be taking a look at why The Polar Express is one of the most terrifying holiday movies ever. So I'm not going to lie. What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title, today we're going to be talking about The Polar Express. We're going to be talking about conspiracy theories about the movie, and more or less why it's an extremely creepy and probably one of the most creepy children's movies. If that sounds good to you, let's jump right into the video. The Polar Express is a movie that released in 2004, and it's actually based off a children's book written in 1985. The film features real human characters, animated using live action. There's a huge portion of people who hate this movie due to the fact that the characters look too real. They look like actual real people you may know in your everyday life. It's more or less the feeling of not knowing if the characters are actually real people or not, which makes our mind go crazy, which does lead us into the topic of the uncanny valley, but I can make another video about that if that's something you guys want. The movie's based around a young boy who wakes up on Christmas Eve night. He looks at his window and sees a train. He then walks up to the train and learns that it's going to the North Pole. He's then invited onto the train by the conductor, where there are a ton of kids already on this train, and he seems to be the final stop. Once he's on the train, he's ready for his journey to the North Pole and to meet Santa Claus. It's not the fact that there's odd things that happen in the movie. It's the fact that the conspiracy theories that have been posted after the movie that make you think, huh, that was kind of weird. The hobo conspiracy. Now, I just want to preface that I'm not calling this person a hobo. That's literally what they're called in the movie credits. So let's check it out. Post-production Chris here. I completely forgot to do an explanation of who the hobo actually is. So let's do that really quickly. The hobo is the character that sits on the top of the train. He's the man who supposedly keeps everyone safe. That's his job. And as I explained later in the video, I explained more or less what happened to him and who he actually is. The hobo is the spirit of Christmas past, which is why he says that he's the king of the North Pole or the king of Christmas. He seems to have a love-hate relationship with the guy that gives gifts, aka Santa Claus. The conductor even states how one time he almost fell off the train and something saved him. And the spirit of Christmas is keeping everyone safe. He's more or less there to keep the Christmas spirit up and to make sure that everyone gets to the North Pole safe to of course meet Santa. There's another theory that states that the hobo is actually the hero boy who happens to be the main character of the movie. If he never got on the train. They state that this would be the hero boy if he never got on the train Christmas Eve night. A skeptical, old, bitter adult stuck on the Polar Express, still of course trying to meet Santa. I personally think that the hobo represents the hero boy if he never got on the train. He would have got on without actually getting a ticket or being invited inside, leaving him to ride on top of the train, then later on him dying as soon as they hit the flat tunnel, which is why the hobo or the ghost is always on the top of the train, and as soon as it hits the flat tunnel, he turns into snow. I guess it's more or less up to you, but that's what makes sense to me. The Conductor Theory The Conductor is Father Time, always looking at his watch, and always in control at all times, even to the point of where he even keeps Santa Claus in check. He is determined to make sure the train reaches the North Pole at all costs. The conductor also looks like an adult version of the hero boy. He's strict, but does kind of look like the hero boy. I believe the conductor represents the hero boy as an adult after riding the train. He makes the hero boy believe in Santa Claus by the end of the trip. He even stamps believe on the hero boy's ticket, and his voice is the exact same as the hero boy as an adult. The dream theory. The dream theory is pretty much the whole entire thing is a dream. None of it actually happened. It was all in his head for him to believe in Santa and for him to more or less have all the Christmas spirit he needs in order to enjoy this Christmas. So that's more or less the Polar Express and why people think it's creepy. In my personal opinion, I think the only reason the movie is actually creepy is due to the fact that these characters look way too realistic. Comment down below what you guys think about the Polar Express and also comment down below your favorite Christmas movie. I'm very interested to hear what you guys like to watch. Mine is Home Alone, the first one, the second one, you know, the first one, of course, and then Lost in New York are my two favorite. And then you got Elf up there and, you know, some other, you know, some, you know, Christmas vacation and, you know, things like that. But hopefully you guys did go to enjoy today's video. And if you did, don't forget to smack a like on it. That'd be greatly appreciated. Follow me on all my socials. They are linked down below. And also comment down below what else you guys want me to cover on the channel next. But with all of that being said, my name is Chris. And of course, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.